Well, thank you all, 1K subscribers. We finally hit 1K subscribers. And your boy also has 25K followers on Instagram. Go follow me now. I appreciate you all. Thank you. I couldn't have done without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy ZTY Tune. Back at you with another plant tour video. I just want to let you know that you can pick up this ZCX ZTY Palm hoodie at ZCCustoms.com. Yeah, that's ZCCustoms.com. They have a few other designs as well that you might like. Go ahead and get you a drink. Go ahead and get you a snack. Sit back, relax, and watch the show. Enjoy. Alrighty, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy ZTY Tune. Back at you with another plant video. Coming at you live from the jungle. And uh, I can kind of say we've gotten a few new plants since the last video. So I thought I'd make a new plant tour video for you guys to enjoy. So we're gonna go ahead and do this a little differently. I was gonna do it, you know, sitting down and having the plants behind me and just show you videos of each plant. But I thought I'd just go around the room and actually just show you each plant individual because you know some of them deserve to be highlighted more than others some of them aren't doing so well and i thought i'd like to just you know actually show you guys the progress of the jungle from the last one so now i think we should start on this side of the room which is normally the side of the room i start on anyways now i'm not going to go into plant care tips and all that in this video because I feel like I've already covered a lot of that in some videos and I can make other videos on some of the newer plants on that. So to make this video shorter, we're just gonna go ahead and just cover the plants themselves. So let's go ahead and start on the right hand side with this fern. Now I got this fern from my homie Iris, shout out Iris. She gave me this fern, she had a few of them and she found them and we rehabbed them. Uh, this is mine rehabbing back. It dropped a lot of it dropped a lot of fronds. Like it had a lot of leaves at one point just dropping, and now it looks like it's actually holding its leaves and growing some new ones. So I'm pretty happy about this fern. This is the front of it. The back doesn't look so great, and I think that's because you know it's not getting the best light back here, whatever. But the front, look, it just dropped another leaf. But the front. It's looking pretty good, so hopefully, you know, in a couple months, that'll be back to its full self. It's liking that spot, I can tell. Uh, another plant that I got from Iris, shout out Iris, she traded me this bamboo palm for my Dracaenas. I don't have the Dracaenas no more, that I used to have those giant Dracaenas. I had two of them, one right there and one was over there, but I don't have those no more. Instead, I have this giant, beautiful bamboo palm. Um, I might end up chopping these two down after they give me seeds. This one's already seeding and producing the seeds. As you can see, the, the, the berries on there and that one is doing the same. So once those ones all give me some berries and some seeds, I might just go ahead and chop the top ones down just because it's just getting a little too weird. I don't know, it, it depends, it depends. I definitely probably need to repot this plant. Um, definitely need to repot this plant for sure. So I'll go ahead and repot it. If, it's, if I'm still not happy with what's going on, then that's when I'll go ahead and chop this down. But yeah, bamboo palm. Then we got Bob. Bob's been here with me forever. You guys are on this channel are very familiar with Bob. Bob has been doing his thing. Not much to say about Bob. He hasn't changed. He don't change much, it's Bob. Like, oops, sorry about that camera wonkiness. But Bob has just been doing his thing. Ain't no shame. Come over here, we got a pothos in the waterfall still. It's gotten bigger. It was probably way smaller last time you seen it. And this one's gotten a little bigger as well. It was probably smaller last time you seen it. Growing up into here. Got some Spanish moss right there. Got some other Talantias right here and right here. Some other Talantias on the rock, or not the rock, on the uh, log. Kinda looks like a pig to me. Looks like a pig just chilling. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Let's come around here. 
All right, on to my little Rika Palm down here. It is doing actually really good. I'm actually surprised on how well this Rika Palm is doing. It has no problems, really. It's got a few brown chips, obviously, but it's just living life. It's gotten way bigger since I've gotten it. I've had it probably like eight months. It's gotten way bigger. It was not that size when I got it, so it was nice and cute and tiny on this table, and now it's kind of low-key, kind of taking up the table a little bit, so that's the Rika Palm. Uh, and then we got my Chinese fan palm. Let's start over here in this corner. Chinese fan palm. I got four of them. One right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there. I love the Chinese fan palm. Look how beautiful that just looks. Looks so majestic and just, my God. I love the Chinese fan palm. Chinese fan palms are a palm that I've wanted forever. And when I seen these in King Supers for $10, I was like, yes! So I had to go ahead and buy four of them because just in case one ha something happened to one of them, I never had one before. So I was like, I don't want to lose one. I don't want to buy one and lose it. So I bought four of them and put them in different spots. That's more of in a shady kind of area. That's more of in a sunny area. Those two are kind of more sunny areas. And then this is more of a shady area as well. So I kind of have them in different spots to see which one does the best. And then that way I can keep them all going. So far, this guy is winning. That guy's loving that area. And yeah, so that one's doing good too as well. I can't, that one, they're all doing really good, but that one's just obviously doing the best. It just, it looks the happiest right now. So Chinese fan palm. Then we go over here to the umbrella plant. We got the umbrella. Uh, I honestly haven't seen much growth on this. I've had this for a minute. You've guys seen this in the last video. I haven't seen much growth on it. It's probably the exact same size as you guys last seen it. I'm not sure where the growth points are on this plant i'm not sure if that's the growth point i just i don't know i don't know what the growth points are i don't know if they cut the growth point growth points or something i don't know this plant really isn't doing much it's kind of just staying the same so i don't know umbrella plant then you have my baby the fishtail palm giant fishtail palm this thing has been through the ringer with me this thing has had mealy it's had scale it's had ants, it's had spider mites, it's had, it's had it all, it's had it all. Sorry for the little camera wig out right there, but it's had it all. And it's still shooting out the new growth. After I got everything figured out, it started shooting out. Oh, it had root rot. Yeah, it's had it all, but we've gotten it coming back. It's got that new growth. It's got that new growth coming out. And it's got that giant spike back there. You can see that spike coming right there. That giant spike going to open up here soon. And be another big, big leaf. The fishtail palm is going everywhere. It's going that way into the banana plant. It's going everywhere. I don't even know where it's at on this side, honestly. Here it is. It's popping through right. It's popping through right there. But yeah, this this fishtail palm would just be going crazy. It's like I said, it's been through it all with me, and somehow it's still with me. So that thing is. I'm blessed to still have that, honestly. I don't even know how. It has had it all. Uh, next plant is, let's go ahead. What's the next plant to the, it's, it's, sorry. It is, let me try to get in here. Uh, excuse me. We have the bird of paradise, the BLP. Bird of paradise back there. It is growing out to right here, over there, back there, over there. There and right there. So we got quite a few leaves on there, and that new one just popped out. I can get in there. This new one just this new one just popped out. So it's growing. I got that from Walmart for five dollars because they it wasn't doing good, and they let me get that for a steal steal. They let me get that for a steal steal. So and it's in a pot that's way too big for it. But yeah, I never have to water that. I wa I've watered that thing like twice since I've had it, and it's. It just never dries out. Uh, bit, and I've got a few bird of paradises too, so we'll go over to bird of paradises again. We'll visit another bigger one here in a second. Um, my hibiscus just shot out some uh, flowers for me. Ah, if I can get around this bird of paradise right here. Shout out some new flowers. Drop that one off right there that I shot out. Shooting out one right there. And if I can get around this bird of paradise, if it lets me, it's shooting out one right here as well, if it's focusing. So yeah, hibiscus is flowering right now. I'm loving it. It's loving it. It's doing nicely. Move on over here to the 
my baby, my allocation Mayan mask. Everybody knows you guys. You guys have seen the Mayan mask quite a bit, and it, this one I have grown it up to be big. I was like, I'm going to put this one right in the window, and I'm going to let this one get huge, and that's exactly what it's doing. It is in the window. It is loving life. It is huge. It is not complaining. I can't complain. It looks good down here. Look, look how I, I already need to repot it. Probably I don't know. It's already going crazy, but. Yeah, Mayan mask, I love my Mayan mask. It's the only one I have over here. I got, you'll see a lot of allocations. I have a lot of allocations. Speaking of allocations, there's one right here sitting right next to it. This big old allocations. Now, I don't know if this is the California. I'm not sure which allocation this is. I put this hole in it on accident with my finger one day when I was messing with it. And you can see literally my finger goes like, oh, hold on, right there. You can see literally my finger goes right through it. Bloop. But yeah, that's a big old allocation leaf. It's got that leaf. And there's another leaf right there. I don't know if I can get in there. There's another leaf right there that it's got growing out. It had some babies. It looks like the babies have recently died. Unless there's one. Yeah, there's still one standing. One baby right there still standing. The other one died though. So, I'm not sure what's going on with this allocation. I'm trying to keep it happy. I'm, I'm not sure if it likes to stay waterlogged or, and that's the thing, some allocations like to stay waterlogged. Some allocations don't like to be waterlogged, and I'm not sure if this allocation likes to be waterlogged, but that's the allocation. I'm not even sure if it's a California. That's the thing, I can't even look it up to see with the care on it, because I don't even know what's going on with it. It had some bugs for a second there, and it looks like we, the bugs are back. Um, I need to spray this ASAP. I can just see it through here, as you can see right there. Uh, problem with having a jungle, guys. When you have a big jungle, it happens. You get bugs. That it happens, look, you can see, it looks like some aphids. Looks like we got some aphid infestation. Is that on my finger? That is, don't wanna spread it. Let me go wash my hands, hold on. All right, I'm back. There's a little aphid infestation back there. We'll go ahead and get that taken care of um, tonight. I can't spray right now because it's daytime. And yeah, when it's daytime, you're not supposed to spray in the light. So tonight I will be hitting this jungle with a nice, uh, I forgot what I use, but it's the borax or whatever it's called. Borax blend. It's, I don't know. I'll show y'all later or on my pest video. It's in my pest video. Go check out my pest video. But all right, this ain't a pest video. This is a, this is a collection video. What's in the collection right now? This is a plant tour. So back on the plant tour, we went over our, these already. We see the uh, Chinese fan palm, Chinese fan palm, alocasia. Oh yeah, so alocasia stingray. My allocasia mutated stingray. My allocasia mutated stingray has purple veins and green veins. And it has purple going down the stems as well. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's too dark in here. But it's not dark, but I don't know if it's the camera's picking it up or not. The camera's not picking it up. But it's got green and purple veins. You can probably see it right here. There we go. See how it has purple veins? The purple veins going down it? Yeah. Oh. All right. So then we got the philodendron. Oh my God, this is, hold on guys. Let me get this focus going. All right, back on autofocus. All right, so then we got my baby, my philodendron McDowell. My McDowell, look at this McDowell leaf. Oh, so beautiful. And then we got a new McDowell leaf coming in right there. Whoop, right there, that's a McDowell leaf right there coming in so beautiful. Yes sir. So, since we're on the McDowell, we got another McDowell leaf right here. Got another, there's four, there's four or five leaves on this plant. There's five leaves on this plant, the sixth one growing out. Um, since we're on philodendrons, let's go ahead and just knock out the other philodendrons. I think this is an imperial green philodendron. Imperial green, but this one just does really well for me. It doesn't take much, and this thing always has new growth coming out. It does not take much to grow this plant. Look how big it is. I've had this for a minute. You've seen it in the last video. This plant just does well, and it loves this little area. And I was like, since this philodendron loves this area, um, I'm gonna put this red one right here. And this one was doing good, but the banana plant, when it fell, it fell over on it, but it's still doing good. Like it's got new growth right here. It's got this new plant, new leaf that just came out not too long ago. It's got new leaf, you know what I'm saying? So it's still doing really well. It just has this damage from when the uh, banana plant fell on it. Yeah, when you have a banana plant fall on you, that's what happens. So we have that philodendron, Imperial green imperial red so we got two more um philodendrons we got pink princess back here philodendron pink princess that she used to be 
pretty famous. We got two of them actually. One right there and one right there. They used to be pretty famous, but now, you know, they're just some basic bitches on the block. But, uh, you know, I went ahead and got me a couple of them because they cheap now. So I got me some. Uh, ooh, Canna Lily. Uh, is that all the Philly Dungeons that's right here? I think that's all the Philly Dungeons right here, yeah. Then we got the Canna Lily. Canna Lily back here. Shooting out new flowers as always. I've had this Canna Lily for a while, two or three years now. And this Canna Lily is doing beautiful. I actually got the Canna Lily. This end. Look how big she is. Like, there's the bottom of the pot. And they come all the way up here and they're flowering. And there's like four or five flowers. Let me see if I can come this way and see it. There's like four or five flowers over there. Canna Lily looks beautiful. I'm like, yeah, yeah, look at it. One, two, three, four flowers. Woo! That's about to be pretty back there. My God. Yes, we gotta highlight that. I gotta get these, gotta get those bugs cleared so that can look really pretty back there. All right, Gardenia. Gardenia, she's got flower heads popping out. She's got flower head popping out. Gardenia. Oh, shoot. But Gardenia. Gardenia shooting out all these flower heads. Every every top has a head on it. Every top. I moved her over here, and she started shooting out flowers. Look at all these flowers. Look at all these flower heads on her Gardenia. Gardenia. So yeah, love love Gardenia is loving it back there. So that's the spot for the Gardenia. It's found its spot finally. Uh, fiddly fig. This thing kind of it was being annoying for a while there, but then I tucked it behind my TV. And it's actually loving being tucked behind the TV because they are from Africa. They like the heat. They love a lot of heat. So the TV gives off a lot of heat. So it's loving just chilling behind the TV. It was being a menace coming way over here, but I tucked it behind the TV and it's doing good now. So I can't complain. Uh, got this giant bird of paradise that y'all see the saw the repot video on my Instagram. If you didn't go see, if you didn't see that, go check out the repot video on my Instagram. I made a reel out of it. But this bird of paradise is just huge. I got this a while ago. You've seen the unraveling on my Instagram and everything. And this thing was probably my height. And now it's nowhere near my height. This thing is going from way over there to way over here. It's like way over here in this chair. That's, yeah. It's, there's four in one pot, four plants in one pot, but they are going crazy. And they are just loving life back there. Next plant, let me just go ahead and cover these ones real quick. We got the ficus, it's all right, it's doing whatever. It's not my favorite plant, but it's doing whatever. And then you got this fern down here that's not doing good at all, but I'm trying to rehab it and let it do its thing, and I don't know. I might get rid of it and get a new one. I might be getting rid of it and getting a new one. Cause I didn't even want that one at first anyways. It's not the fern I wanted, but whatever. And then now, you got the one you've probably been waiting for. Look at this, even got pups. Oh, hold on, I forgot this one. We got the Alocasia uh, Syria. Alocasia Syria, Syria. I'm not sure how to say the name of this one, honestly. I'm probably saying it wrong. But yeah, it's got new growth coming in right there. It's got this leaf right here. And there's another leaf somewhere. I don't know, one, two, oh, it's over here. And it's got another leaf back here. So yeah, this Alocasia. Syrian, 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 I don't know. But now, to the one you guys probably been waiting for, and it's got pups. It's got pups, finally, there's pups up here, and there's some pups back, back there, if you can see, there's like one or two pups back there. But we have, bomb, 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 the Dwarf Cavendish. My Dwarf Cavendish, my baby. Biggest plant in the house. This has gone from being one of my smallest plants to being the largest plant I've ever seen in a house. Living, thriving, loving life. It has no complaints. It says I have no complaints. My Dwarf Cavendish. This thing is from the top of the pot to the top of the top of its leaf. It's probably standing a good 10, 11, 12 feet, somewhere around there. Um, it is not small. It is not a small plant at all. Uh, I wouldn't say 10 feet because if you look at think of a basketball rim, basketball rim I could dunk on. I can't dunk on, but I can get close to it. I'm not getting nowhere close to the top of that. So it's probably 13 feet standing. It's a tall specimen in a house. Just Let's just say that. Um, Dwarf Cavendish, highly recommend you get you one. I have not seen the uh, spirit 
on that they say that is associated with banana plants. Um, that's on wild Java's first of all. Wild Java's have the, the spirit lady. I forgot her name. I'll put it on the screen. But this plant does not have that because this is a Cavendish, not a Java, and it's not wild. It's in my house. <laughs> so during the during the full sun or full moon, I have not seen the spirit at night. So if you're asking, look how good she looks with the with the Chinese fan palm, the bird of paradise. It just looks like you know she's naturally in the wild. You got the bamboo palm with it. It's just, oh, it's just happy. It's just happy. All right, is that everything on this side of the room? Uh, I think we covered everything on this side of the room. Now let's go to this side of the jungle, where it's a little bit more dense. <laughs> this side of the jungle has gone a little crazy as well. So let's just start from the right and go all the way back. We have, it's not doing too good. It, it's actually not doing good at all right here. I don't think it's happy right here. There's two. Of, I have two of these plants. There's one right here, and then there's one over there that's doing a lot better because that one gets actually more sun. This one doesn't. So yeah, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think it's happy right here. You have the yucca. It's a yucca. Um, it's not happy right here. We're we're not even gonna show that much too much. Then we're gonna. I'll show you the other one that looks better. Then we have my macho ferns, the macho ferns. I said macho, the macho, it is macho. Yeah, it's not macho, macho is the T. The macho fern, it is doing, it. I was, I was, one day I was thinking it wasn't happy right here. And I think it just had to settle in because now it like really looks good. Like it's coming way up here, it's shooting way back there. It's coming, dressing all up here and right here. Hold on, sorry, somebody's calling me. Sorry about that. But it's coming all the way up here. It's doing all this. It's it's looking good. The macho fern is actually looking good. It's actually the leaves, are, the new leaves are nice and shiny, and so it's happy. It's happy. I just learned you have to water that thing every day. But it just looks good right here, like this little island area with the macho fern. You got the Chinese span palm, and then you got the the, the cat palm with the, oh man, it's beautiful, but yeah. So this is this is layering. I'm gonna do a video on layering soon. That's gonna be my next video on how to layer inside your house, how to get this look of layering inside your house. That's the next video. But yeah, you got the, like I said, the macho fern. It's not a Boston fern, it's a macho fern because it's way bigger. That's a Boston fern. Oh yeah, I didn't say that. That's a Boston fern. That's a macho, way different way. These are way bigger. Going on to the next one, we got some Sigoniums down here. So I went to the Denver Botanical Garden a couple weeks or a couple months ago for my birthday, and I saw that they had syngoniums underneath everything. Syngoniums were the understory plant. It wasn't underneath everything, but it was the understory plant of choice for sure for a lot of the areas. And I was like, oh, perfect plant because it looks good. And honestly, they are doing so good under here. They are just like doing really good under here. They are not crying at all. They got a lot of new growth coming in. A lot of new growth coming in. The leaves are staying happy. Yeah, I can't even I can't even complain about the syngoniums. A lot of people are like, "Ooh, do you, I don't know," but people, some people don't understand my, how my jungle works, and uh, it works perfectly with those right there. Then you got the big leaf Addisonii, and you got the small leaf Addisonii. Two types of Addisonii. Still just Addisonii. I thought this was the Epper whatever. It starts with an E. It's a Philodent. It's a Monstera that starts with an E. I thought that was this one for a while there, but it's not. I had to find out that it's no. This is just an Addisonii. Big leaf form. So it's still beautiful though. And then Addisonii small leaf form. Then you got the Chinese fan palm. I gotta cut some of these old fronds off. Obviously, as you were sharing, I just gotta cut some of these off, you know. It's getting acclimated to the house, but the newer leaves, this new leaf just opened and unfurled and everything, so the it's it's happy. Chinese, uh, I was about to say Chinese fan palm, cat palm, cat palm doing amazing. It's always shooting out some new, it's got some new spikes coming out, new spikes coming out. So it it was having problems because I I messed up and I underwatered it. I thought I was overwatering it and I was actually underwatering it, and it ended up drying out and losing like three fronds. It ended up bending. See how this one kind of wanted to start bending and breaking? So I lost a few fronds because I underwatered these plants. You gotta make sure you stay underwater on these plants. You make sure these, you not have wet feet, but you do not let palms dry out. Do not let palms dry out. When palms dry out, it's done. Like, 
the fronds will break. But we've got tons of new spikes coming in. New spike. This new spike got stuck because it was dry. We got this new spike right here. We've got a new spike right here. So yeah, tons of new spikes are coming in. New spike right there, new spike right there. Tons of new spikes, that's a big one right there. I didn't even see this one, jeez, that's a big one right here coming in. That's a giant new spike, jeez. New spike right there coming in. And now those two are new up there. These two are new, so I'm not sad about it. It's doing its thing. Cat palms are doing their things. Got some new growth over here on this one. New spikes, new spikes, new spike right there. So as long as we got new spikes and the spikes are growing, we're good to go. All right, next one. Bromeliads, let's talk about some bromeliads. I got one, which I don't think is doing too well because I think I need to anchor it up better. It's actually, I know it's not doing too well. I need to anchor this up like this. It needs to be sitting like this, not like this. So after this video, oh, uh, let's see if I can anchor it. There we go, there we go. There we go, she stayed finally. Oh, there she fell. So yeah, I need to anchor her better. Another bromeliad up there. Oh, hold on, sorry. Let me pull this out, there we go. Another bromeliad up here. With some moss on the roots. And that one's got the, the red flame thing thing sticking out. I don't know. Looks a bit rude. As Kelly Ellen would say, looks a bit rude. <laughs> um, and then we got that bromeliad up there that I need to fix as well. I forgot what they call that one, but it's more the common one. And then we got that bromeliad up there as well. So we got four bromeliads. And then we have my Nepenthes. Nepenthes pitcher plants. Now, if you guys are afraid of Nepenthes pitcher plants, or let me actually come over here and get this side too. Okay. So if you guys are, have been maybe afraid to get a Nepenthes pitcher plant, these things are amazing. This little, this guy right here, started out just like this little guy right here it was very small very dinky and now it's growing into a giant picture of its own it's becoming its own picture and this is what they look like when they're mature and there are bugs in them there are some little some gnats in them and i love that because having a jungle like this you have you do have a few gnats flying around so having something that can get the gnats collect the gnats and benefit from that better for me less chemicals I got to use in the in the jungle look at this big old bird paradise all right have another Mayan mask Mayan mask right here growing out back here loving life behind the Addisoni ice Mayan mask and this is also a, a pole so my light how I have this I've, I've done a video on this but you know you see the light is the light is on a, a stick that I got from outside I just found a stick outside put it in the car drove it here and it has like these perfect little braces that go that way and that way and I just anchored it anchored it with two nails and an air tube one right there and then there's another anchor down there that you can't see but you can't even see the anchors and it just looks like a natural piece of this looks like a nice natural branch coming out the ground you know and holding the light up yeah dig that's how you should do that if you're looking for an idea on how to anchor a light up and make it look natural. Just use a piece of wood. It looks super natural, looks super beautiful. And then you can hang, you know, Spanish moss, nepenthes, bromeliads, orchids. Like, you can hang a lot of like aeroids and stuff off that and just water it from the top down and let it just bloop, 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 water it all. You dig? It works pretty nicely. All right, let's come to this side. We have one of my favorite stars of the room. Yes, that's an obliqua. We have an obliqua in the collection, guys. Monstera obliqua, welcome to the stage. I have it sitting right here. I, most people would have this in a terrarium or something like that. I have it sitting in the middle of the room, at the bottom of the, at the bottom where it would normally be in nature, and it just has this humidifier, just raining humidity. Like it just rains humidity on this thing. It is beautiful the way it does. And I think I like this morning when I did the humidifier. I think I anchored this the wrong way. I think I turned it too much to, to the side because it's normally blowing like that. But yeah, it blows down, it blows onto the side of the, on, on, it blows exactly onto the obliqua and it just keeps the obliqua around 90% humidity, keeping it super happy. 
yeah, Monstero Obliqua. And it's not an Anasota, Addisonia. This is an Addisonia. That's an Obliqua. See the holes? See the holes? Yes. It's also, I got it from the mother. I got the cutting from my mother. The mother's looking beautiful, and I came off the mother. So, yes, I know it came, I know it's an actual Obliqua. Don't be trying me, all right, in the comments. And then, next, we have the Regal. I kind of messed up on it. I didn't realize, so this is my first Anthurium, and I didn't realize how like tender these leaves are. So I accidentally like, when it was, when this was smaller, I accidentally like hit it right here, and then I hit it on the side over here on accident, like with another leaf, I think. And that happened, and that happened. Do not touch your baby Anthurium leaves. I am just now finding this out. Do not touch baby Anthurium leaves with anything. Like baby the hell out of them Anthurium leaves. Cause they were do this and that. So now this leaves is gonna grow out damaged and I'm kind of sad about that. So yeah, uh, what else we got over here? We got a lot of plants over here. We have Alocasia Mayan Mask. Again, we have a big bush of it. This is a lot of Mayan Mask. And yeah, the top is white. That's because I just did like a treatment on these, I just did like a treatment over here and I need to wipe this off honestly. And this humidifier probably isn't helping either. But yeah, I need to wipe this off. Don't, don't mind that. Don't mind the, the whiting, but this is the allocation Mayan mask right here. It's a nice bush of it. There's three in one pot. I don't know if you can get down there and see that. There's three in one pot. And then you have the Mayan, uh, the dragon, sorry, the pink dragon. Sorry, this humidity is kind of, sorry about that. All right, so now that the humidity is gone and you can actually see the plants, we have the pink dragon. Alocasia pink dragon. Look at the bottom of that right there. So beautiful. Pink dragon. It's got some new growth coming up down there. And we come down here so you can kind of see it. You can kind of see the new growth coming in there. And then we got the Alocasia um, Ivory Coast. Alocasia Ivory Coast right here. Looking all nice and beautiful. We have... It was a philodendron. I don't think it's philodendron no more. I'll put the name on the screen. But it's got these beautiful new leaves. One right here. One right here. Look how shiny that leaf is. Oh my god. But yeah, some beautiful new leaves. Like I said, I need to clean these leaves. I'll probably clean these leaves today. I'll clean these leaves today with some lemon. You just take some lemon and some water and put it on a rag. You can just wipe them all down. Um, we have the Pastazanum. Philodendron Pastazanum right here. One, two. And then there's a third leaf right there. We also have a fourth leaf back here. That can't, that's one of the newer leaves, but it didn't it didn't do too well, so it kind of just did its own thing. But there is a new leaf coming in right here, I am proud to say. If I can move, there is a new leaf right there coming in. Proud to, proud it can be. And then let's move over here. Then we have the squamacaw. Squamacaw is right here. This is the philodendron squamacaw. And it has let me get in here. The fuzzy petals. New leaf right there. Fuzzy petals. And then we have the Gloriosum. Oh my gosh, the Gloriosum. And we have a new leaf growing on the Gloriosum too. About to pop a focus on the eye right here. Beautiful leaf coming on the Gloriosum. So yeah, quite a few rare plants right here. If it wants to focus and stop like weirdly focus. I'm telling this focus is off today. But Gloriosum Passazanum, Gloriosum and Passazanum cross make the McDowell, which is why I have the McDowell. I love this McDowell. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. But yes, yeah, so we have the McDowell, which comes from the Passazanum and the Gloriosum. Then we have the Alocasia Cuculata, Cuculata, right up here with the heart shape, kind of looking like a philodendron, but it's not. It's an Alocasia. I need to wipe this one off too. I'm probably going to wipe all these leaves off today. Then we have, so I finally mastered it. I finally figured out what this takes. This used to be under the Calathea. I don't think it's a Calathea no more. It's like a geopathic, geopatria, whatever. I'll put the name as well on the bottom, but this is the newest leaf. And I figured out how to make him. So this is the leaf before that. And it came out with these tips and I was like, why it was doing so well. And I figured it out. I figured it out. Just don't let this get dry. Don't let the soil get dry. Never let the soil get dry on this plant because then it won't like you. But if you keep the soil nice and moist, it'll send you out these nice, beautiful, if it wants to focus, my focus is off today. My God, focus. If it wants to focus, there we go. See these beautiful leaves? 
the color on them. Ooh, look at that, look at that shine on that new leaf. Beautiful leaves, beautiful leaves, beautiful leaves still coming in. All right, what else do we have? The cuttings of the snake plant. You know, we just got cuttings of a snake plant sitting right there. We have another macho fern, which isn't doing as well as that macho fern over there. For some reason, that macho fern over there does better. I think it just gets more direct sun. This one doesn't get any sun. And it only gets light from the grow lights from that one, from that one. So it's not really getting too much light over here. Um, even though this philodendron right here is doing really well. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but this philodendron right here, see the new, new growth coming out if it wants to focus. But as you can see, it has the new leaf growing in. New leaf growing in right there, looking very nice. And I think that's the Congo, Red Congo. I don't know the name of this one. I'm pretty sure it's called a philodendron Red Congo. If you know the proper name of it, put it in the comments. All right, and then you go to my baby. Yeah, look how beautiful this is. Now, this is the Portadora. This is a big plant. This is the plant. Let me back this up a little bit. This is my hand. Like, I don't know if you can see the difference in size of this. This is a very big plant. <laughs> this is not a small plant at all. This leaf is probably a foot and a half, two feet long, that leaf. The new leaf growing in is definitely going to be two feet long because look at it. It's already from here all the way up there. Like, what is going on with this plant? Like, all these leaves are brand new leaves that I've grown. All the original leaves that came on this plant are all gone. These are all brand new leaves that I've grown. But this plant is no joke, guys. Look at this. This is the Portadora. This is Crossfoot the Portii and the uh, Ordora, the Ordora mixed with the Portii, so this plant gets huge. This plant gets big, massive. Look at that leaf, and then look at this leaf, and it's not even hard enough yet. My God, this plant. I'm telling you, like, look, oh, I just backed up into the chair. Like, look at the size of that leaf compared to every other leaf structure in here other than the banana, because obviously the banana is but look at it with the banana. Like, my God. Those are just some big, these are just big leaves, bro. Like, I am not, like, look at my finger. That's my finger compared to this. That's crazy. It's a big plant. All right. Allocation Maya mask over here. Maya mask is everywhere. This was my first allocation I got. And it split up a lot, and I split it up everywhere. So there's Maya mask everywhere. Oh, and this is the yucca. Sorry, I almost walked right past you, baby. Here's a yucca doing way better than its brother over there. This yucca is actually doing some stuff with the cat palm. Cat palm, yucca, and portador. And I guess we can go this way. So here's my staghorn fern that I mounted on a piece of wood. I mounted this and then I put wrapped it with this with the sphagnum moss. Wrapped, wrapped it all the way around it all the way up it. I have these spaces so it's not touching the wall, so it's not getting waterlogged or messing the wall up. But yeah, I pull that down, water it, put it back up. That's a staggering form, there's three of them. And that's a brand new, that, that's brand new. I've grown that, that little one. Like this thing is growing crazy fast, honestly. Some people say they grow slow, but uh, mine's kind of growing a little fast. So I don't know what y'all are doing, but mine's, mine's doing its thing thing. And then you have the other pitcher plant right here. I'm not sure if I already showed this. I probably didn't show it when I was showing the other Nepenthes. But other pitcher plant. And you got another pothos right there. I have a, that pothos right there because I want it to grow along the vine, or the log, I should say. I want it to grow along the log and have lean potho leaves along the log. That'd be, that'd be looking cool. With the sphagnum moss, or sorry, uh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> With the Spanish moss. That is real Spanish moss, real life, uh, real alive Spanish moss. Looking lovely. Making it just look like a real Florida swamp in here. I like this I like this look right here because when I walk out of my bathroom, I'm just like straight Florida. It just feels like Florida in here. I'm like, where did I just transport to? Ooh, monstera leaf. And I think that's all from up there, all the plants that are up there. Let's come over here. 
So now we have my Yucatan Princess. I have a lot of allocations. I love allocations. They're just my favorite. One of my favorite genuses. I, I want to say it is my favorite genus of plant. My favorite, my favorite species. Um, Yucatan Princess right here. Alocasia Yucatan Princess. Look how this is growing. Man, this grows in so crazy. And then you got the new leaf right here. The new leaf unfurling. Oh, look how big. Oh my God, look at the structure on that leaf. Look at the structure on that. And that's the top of the leaf. Oh my God. It looks like the bottom of, of the winti eye. So we, I guess we can go, and this is another allocation Mayan mask right here. Mayan mask. Hello. Another allocation Mayan mask. So you got the Yucatan princess Mayan mask. And then you have the winti eye. And the winti eye. Kind of like the uh, Portadora over here. The, excuse me, the winti eye leaves are huge. Like, the size of this leaf is crazy. And look how beautiful this, it just looks fake. Like this leaf just looks fake. It looks fake. Look how plastic it looks. This leaf just looks fake. And then you get into the sun with the veining. Oh my gosh. The winti eye is just beautiful. Not a brown tip inside on an allocation, I'm telling you. My allocation do not have brown tips. Look at that, and that's the newest leaf right here. Coming in super red. That's the top of it. And this is the bottom. The bottom. And that's the top. Coming in super red. Look at that. Sheesh. And then you got leaves over here. Look at the size of this leaf. Look how beautiful this leaf is, guys. Look at the size of this, that's my finger. Look at the size of these leaves. Oh, this plant just loves it over here. So does this Mayan mask. This Mayan mask just loves it over here. That's a new leaf on the Mayan mask. And then you have my lemon plant back here. My lemon tree. I don't know if I can get back there. I don't know, guys. I might not be able to get back there. Ugh. My lemon tree. You got the lemon tree growing. Lemon tree. Doing this thing back there. Oh. All right. <laughs> Almost got stuck on a leaf back there. But yeah, lemon tree doing its thing back there. Uh, this is kind of like my rehab area. I have the high-low. Sorry, it was focusing on my watch. I have a high-low right here, the high-low beauty. It was an alocasia. I think they took it out of the alocasia, which I'm glad they did because it's not really an alocasia personally. But And then you have the black velvet, which grew this new leaf out. But I don't know. It's not doing too well. I don't think, I don't think this black velvet's doing too well. I don't know. Neither is my Polly. Polly's not doing too well. My Bambino's doing good. Bambino. I need to water you. Bambino's got this brand new leaf. Look at that brand new leaf. Sheesh, hold on. Let me set you down. Brand new leaf looking gorgeous. Sheesh. Sheesh. Looking so shiny. Sheesh. Looking so shiny. Sheesh. That new Bambino leaf, though. That new Bambino leaf, though. So, yeah, that's the Bambino. Uh, put it back. There we go. And then that was a, another Polly, and then that was a Silver Dragon. They both failed, so I'm just letting their chromes grow back. Hopefully, their chromes will grow back. If not, I'll just go buy some more new ones. All right. My, I'll do my Sarah Delicosa's last. We have the Peace Lily growing out of the fish tank. Peace Lily growing out of the fish tank and flowering. Say hello. Peace Lily is flowering out of the fish tank. Growing straight up out of the fish tank. I've grown this from a very small tissue culture plant. And now it is just this giant behemoth growing up out of the fish tank. Another thing growing out of the fish tank that's a behemoth is this pothos. Look at the leaves on this pothos. Look at the leaves on this pothos. And it gets bigger and bigger. It loses variegation a little bit, but that's okay because it just becomes a giant monster. Let me see if I can back up and get a better photo or video of y'all, or of it for y'all. Let's see here. But that's, yeah. You see how big she is? She is no joke. That pothos is beautiful. The way she's shingling up the wall, beautiful. She's huge too. I think the biggest leaf is sitting about like 11, maybe even a foot, 11 inches, maybe to a foot long is the biggest leaf, which is that leaf right there. I can't get to it, but 
but that Pothos is just doing his thing, climbing up the wall. And then we have the Monstera Peru. Monstera Peru, we got a couple of heads. We got that one right there. We have this one right here. We have another one that's back there, if you can see it right there. And then this one cascades this way and goes this way. And it's popping up right there. So yeah, the Monstera Peru right here, doing pretty good. It, it's loving life right here by the fish tank. Another pothos back here vining. And it's crazy because you got the pothos, you got the pothos vining back here on the Monstera Delicosa. And then you have the Pennywise growing out of the fish tank. And look at it's even flowering, guys. The Pennywise is flowering. How many times can you say you've seen flowering Pennywise? That is crazy. Look at that. That is flowering Pennywise in the fish tank. But the Mon Monstera Pennywise, you got the you got the pothos. Look at that. It's vining on the Monstera uh, aerial root. The aerial root is, is literally being wrapped with pothos. And the pothos is going that way. And then you also have the Pennywise. Is it Pennywise or Pennyworth? I think it's Pennyworth. I think I was saying the wrong. Penny, I think it's Pennyworth, Brazil. And then you have the water lettuce that is flowering as well. Look at the flower on that water lettuce right there. Flowering water lettuce. Flowering Pennyworth, Brazil. You have, let me lift this up. You have a philodendron Brazil growing out of the fish tank. It's in the fish tank and growing out of it with an all yellow leaf. Look at the all yellow leaf on the philodendron Brazil, guys. Look at that, all yellow leaf on the philodendron Brazil. Look at this, this is the river tank. It's moving fast like a river. You got the water lettuce. You got the vines, you got the aerial roots going into the fish tank, giving it that real Florida look, that real Florida vibe. You know what I'm saying? You got the waterfall back there. Let's see if I can focus on the waterfall a little bit. Focus on the waterfall. But yeah, it's just like a real, you got the moss. The moss. Yeah, this is a real little island. You got, um, this is right here. Um, uh, why can't I say it? Rabbit, rabbit foot fern. Rabbit foot fern, which there's a piece right there of the rabbit foot fern. So there's a lot of plants growing out of, out of the fish tank. And then obviously in the fish tank, I'm just gonna just put this right here, if that helps it. No, it doesn't help it. You got Pennyworth, you got Anubius. Let me see here, it's not focusing. Focus, there we go. You got Pennyworth, you got Anubius. You got Crips. Got a whole lot of, that's about it, but. Look at the Crips, the Crips are healthy. The fish wanna be on, on TV. They're like, what's up guys? Those are blood tetras. And then the, uh, the silver one you see right there is a white cloud. There's a, like five white clouds and about nine blood tetras. And there's a blue neon tetra in there somewhere. There's just one because I can't get them out. He had, there was more blue on neon, blue neon tetras, but I can't. They, they died. And then the one that survived, it wasn't a good batch, but the one that survived, I don't even know where he's at now. He's in there somewhere. They're just doing their thing. This tank is pretty big. There's also shrimp in this tank, but you're not gonna be able to see the shrimp right now because they're asleep. They're nocturnal. They normally come out at night more so. But yeah, so you got this tank. You got this tank. You see the blue neon tetras in that one. You can see them lighting up. They're all blue. You got a red ember tetra. You got a shrimp right, you can see a shrimp right there. There's a shrimpy if it wants to focus. And the shrimp is on a tiger lotus. That plant right there is called a tiger lotus. Look at this straight. Look at this. Look at that plant. Like the colors on those tiger lotuses. Tiger lotuses are my favorite aquatic plant for that reason. It's because the sh the look on their leaves is just beautiful. I can't pull it up no more. It's kind of wigging out. But if you can see in there, you can kind of if you can kind of see them. Uh, it's not letting me. No more. There we go. The design of those leaves are beautiful. That's the tiger lotus. There's some crypts in there as well. Some other plants. I need to clean the walls of this tank off though. It's kind of dirty. 
Just a little bit. It's a natural tank though, so they clean themselves. This tank over here, ton of moss growing up the up the mountain. That's what it kind of looks like. Kind of looks like moss growing up a mountain. Looks like the jungle going off the mountain and into the ocean. And then you got red ember tetras in this one. I need to do a little bit of maintenance on this one. I need to cut this giant stem, this giant stem plant. I need to cut that because it's just out of place. But this is the valley. It's supposed to be a valley. It goes swoops this way and this way. And you look deep into the valley. There's an Anubis back there as well. And a lot of moss. I need to, I need to do something with that one. <laughs> and this one's dirty too. All my tanks are dirty, but you can see the shrimp cruising around in there. Tons of shrimp in that one. But yeah, those are the tanks. And then you got the Monsteras, Monstera delicosas, growing halfway out of the fish tanks and then half in pot. So they're, they got pots. Obviously they're in pots. There's three of them, one, two, and the third one's on the other side. But they are growing out of pots. And then the aerial roots I have tucked into this tank. There's aerial roots going into this tank, creating this little island. And then there's aerial roots coming from this one, going into this tank. And then there's aerial roots from this one, going straight into the tank right there. So tons of aerial roots going into the tanks that monsters are being fed from the tanks and from the pots. I water the pots. And you can see these leaves are pretty big. These are pretty big. They're not super big though, but they're they're decently big. I think this is the smaller version of Monstera. I don't think I got the bigger version of Monstera. I'm pretty sure I got the smaller version. Cause this one, the leaves aren't getting super big like I thought they would. Like, you know, they're not that big. So they are curling up and they are bowling up and doing their thing. They are super striated, but they're not, I don't think it's the super version. It's not the big version, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, so I think that's all of the plants, guys. I think I just covered all the plants. I'm not gonna cover the plants in the fish tanks because that's just too many plants. I, I covered the majority of them, as you can see. As you can see, I covered the majority of them. Oh, let me turn this back on. I forgot to turn this off for the uh, video. I'm gonna try to turn that back on because that Monstera Obliqua definitely needs that humidity pumping on it at all times. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, plant tour. And uh, I'll see you guys here shortly on a new video when I do another one coming up soon. I'll probably do one in the next, I don't know, six months. I'll do one during the summer. So I did one during the winter. This one's early, 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 early spring because it's spring break time. So I can say this is early spring. So early spring and then I'll do one during the summertime. But you guys keep planting and I'll see you next time. Peace.